بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ ہی وی ہیو ایم آر ایف دی نی آف ٹوینٹی سکس ایئرز اولڈ میل پیشنٹ ہو پریزنٹیڈ ود اولڈ ہسٹری آف نی انٹری دس از سیجیٹل ٹی ٹو ویٹڈ سیکوینس اینڈ دس ون از ٹرونل ٹی ٹو ویٹڈ فیٹ اسپیشل سیکوینس اینڈ ہی وی ہیو axial T2 weighted sequence we can see there is uh, anterior translation of uh, tibia and uh, there is mild buckling of upper end of uh, posterior cruciate ligament and uh, here we could not see anterior cruciate ligament so this represents total chronic ACL transaction resulting in ACL instability because of which there is anterior tibial translation and generally signals and morphology of posterior cruciate ligament appears unremarkable while we can see multi septated ganglion cyst behind posterior aspect of posterior cruciate ligament and there is mild posterior bulge of posterior capsule of the knee overall quadriceps and patellar tendon appears normal infrapatellars half hours fat pad is unremarkable we can see medial and lateral menisci appears unremarkable both menisci shows normal signals and morphology collateral ligaments are normal as well here we can confirm this multisepated ganglion cyst behind posterior aspect of the posterior cruciate ligament and here this is intercondylar notch this is posterior cruciate ligament and we see here we can see oval shaped multi septated uh, cyst behind posterior aspect of the posterior cruciate ligament so this is ganglion cyst behind posterior aspect of posterior cruciate ligament very tiny strip of reactive fluid is appreciated in supra patellar bursa overall patellar retinacula and retropatellar cartilage is unremarkable so in this case we have seen total chronic acl transaction with ganglion cyst which is multi septated along posterior aspect of posterior cruciate ligament very tiny strip of uh, fluid is appreciated in supra patellar bursa thank you very much assalam alaikum warahmatullah